does. <laughs> I think I'm your friend. Go to hell. I hope you all marry Liza Minnelli. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. No, I don't blame you. I would wear one too. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I love the outfit. I love the green. That's some colour. Green is the colour. It certainly is. Yes. Joan Rivers on the show. I'm so excited. I've been a fan of your I'm... comedy for donkey's years. <laughs> I'm so nervous uh, to be here little... with Jack D and, and the, uh, the Black Eyed Peas and Helen Mirren talking to me. Well, no, well, you see, but you are, you know, you're oh. a huge star. I don't see oh. why on earth you would feel that way. I came in on a plane. Angelina Jolie was on the plane. Wow. I mean, I've had some day. Wow, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Lips. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, uh, it, it's like a, a, an infected asshole. I mean, it's just... <laughs> We're clear. It's fine. <laughs> um, hey, well, it's lovely to have you here. You come to London quite often these days, do yes, you not? Is that yes. right? Well, I have my own show on... Um, nobody ever watches, but Channel 5. Well, hey, Channel 5, no-one's going to watch, but it's nice yes. to see that you're in uh, gainful employment. And uh, my husband was English, so I feel comfortable here. You know, oh, so, really? I yeah. didn't know that. So, uh, you, you live in New York most of the time, I yes, guess. Yes, I live right? in New York all the time. I always think there's an affinity between uh, Londoners and New Yorkers. I feel that the cities are, are quite close in some ways. Would, would I be right? Do you think that's fair? Very right, in the sense that the excitement is there, the sophistication is there. Yes, the boss. But, um, New York is what I love, and I truly mean this, I don't mean this patronizingly. I love England because you respect history. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, if this were, if, Eng if London were New York, Big Ben would be digital. I mean, it would just be a whole, you know, it's like a, <laughs> The way you handle, this is true, the way you handled your terrorists, which I thought was amazing, because I was here when the, the uh, subway blew up, yeah. and they just got to work, and they did it, and this, and they found the people, you know, and it was amazing to watch London and the British mind in action. I mean, we're still looking. It's four years later. <laughs> we know who for, did it. Yeah. We're looking for a tall man named Ben Laden in a sheet. Yeah. How hard? I mean, just go to Harrods and wait for a linen sale. I mean, it's like. <laughs> do you, do you know what I'm saying? I think you're right. I. We just don't think. Um, okay, you're coming over to perform. I don't know if you're staying here to start your tour. You're going back home and then coming back, but you're performing in October. Is that right? I'm a. <laughs> Wait, hang on. That was. It's like having David Blaine on the show. Where did that come from? Sixteen cities in <laughs> sixteen days. Not like Jack, but sixteen cities in well, sixteen this days. Is, this is. Well, thanks. Can I keep this? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my, you're playing some exciting places. Uh, Croydon. <laughs> I see they have you down for Stoke. Yeah, the and, Palladium in but, London. But that will be this will be fun. I would have yeah. thought for you. Do, uh, do uh, British audiences respond well to you? Do they like your kind of humour? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Very seldom have they walked in totally <laughs> antagonistic. <laughs> no, I, I think I think it's all the same. We all watch the same things. We all know that Paris Hilton is a tramp. Yes. I mean, we all have the same. <laughs> oh, grow up. Yeah. What is she famous for? <laughs> well, I know the actual answer, but I, I mean... The girl has an IUD with call waiting. I mean, she's famous <laughs> for just... <laughs> yes. um, I don't... She's famous for being famous, which is yeah. like a lot of them now. Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. Well, we know what she's famous for. Yeah. We're not going there. I'm not, because I... I'm a, not... Um, Joe, <laughs> why is the tour called the Farewell Tour? You're not actually saying about the show business after this, are you? Well, no, but Cher is a good friend of mine, and she's been doing that stupid Farewell Tour since 1907, <laughs> so I got very angry. Yeah. So you mentioned Cher. Now, when, you, when you've made jokes about people, like you have yeah. Cher and other people, uh, when you get to meet them, because I know in the States, I don't know if you're still doing this, but for many years you handled the red carpet duties. I still for, do, I'm going okay, back for it. Which now. was great. I always enjoy seeing you and your daughter handing it and talking to people and talking about their outfits. Um, but you must meet a lot of the people that you've made jokes about over the years. Yeah. And uh, do most of them, are they, are they 
cool about that? Do they take it with a pinch of salt or do they want to have a go back? Oh, no. You know, it's, it's uh, the smart ones know it's fun. Yeah. Even Cher, and I do so many jokes. She likes them so young. She hangs out at Toys R Us. You know, you have, <laughs> I, I do a million jokes. And she will come to see me in performance. And if I don't have her in the act, she gets upset. Oh, well, that's a, and that shows her in a terrific light, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she, she understands that you can't make jokes about people unless they're so famous yeah. that everyone in the audience knows who you're talking about. Okay, I have yeah. some comments you have said about people over the oh, years. I'm going go. to see if you can remember who these are for. Okay, okay. All right. uh, Of whom did you say, it's my fault, I told him to date only 28-year-olds, how was I to know he'd find 20 of them? <laughs> Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, no, King. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not dwell on it. Let's Great not dwell show. on it. He's an innocent man. Let's not dwell on it. Totally innocent. Totally innocent. Who would have even thought? He called me up. He said, I, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm so happy. I feel like a kid again. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Of whom did you say? She's so fat, she puts mayonnaise on aspirin. Oh, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Look how they love her now, you know? It's so, it's she's like, well, she's, she's become... an icon. Yeah, yeah. But she was fat there. Do you remember all those jokes about her? You used to say uh, she's the only person who stands in front of her microwave shouting, Howie, Howie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I took her to watch Shamu, the whale, and she said, does he come with mustard? Um, <laughs> they were just on and on and on. There were a million jokes about her. Let's, you're a grandmother now. Yes, I know. Um, I'm so sorry for him. <laughs> uh, you have just one grandchild, yeah? One grandson, and he calls me Nana Newface. And it <laughs> <laughs> has never... Because, you know, I go out to... <laughs> I go to California. My daughter lives in California. Yeah. So when you go out to these places, you want to do more than one thing. Yeah. So I always have a little something done while I'm visiting my daughter. You always have a little bit of work done? Yeah, well, why not? It's, it's like a tradition. It's a tradition. I'm coming out for a week. <laughs> Who's going to see me? But surely there must be... You can't really... There's nothing much more... That, oh, that we always find do. something. Well, OK, what was the last thing you had done? Uh, took the hair off my back. No, I just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I should get that done, should yeah, I? That, mm. um, no, uh, I do bits and pieces. So really, it's fine tuning now. It's fine. I, I have a very good friend who's a uh, plastic surgeon. I'll go to him and I'll say, Steve, what do you think? And he'll go, Ugh! and then I'll go, um, what? So sometimes I'll say nothing, but he does a little bit. But I think women, if you want to look good, yeah, do it for God. They all lie to you. You know, I sat with Sophia Lauren. And uh, this is, I'm sure she was telling me the truth. I've done nothing! She was talking to the part in her hair. I mean, it's like... <laughs> but, you know, sometimes... Cos here's the thing. Cos you do look great. I think you do genuinely well, look like... But you don't look like a person of your age should look. Well, a person my age should look like this. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean, though? It's kind of like... It's, it's not natural, is it, Joe? Oh, please. Who wants to look natural? <laughs> I get so depressed. Yeah. I mean, without a brazier, I could nurse China from the bedroom. I mean, it's just... Well, like, you it's know not what? good. I've thought about it. I haven't had anything done yet. I really haven't. But I thought... I was thought about having some Botox done. But, but you Botox. Should. Well, not on my face. I was going to have it done on my balls because the wrinkles have got so ridiculous. Yes! I can't find anything down there. Men's genitalia. Drops, you know that. Hey, tell me about it. I tripped over mine the other night. <laughs> I don't want to say this. We... Vaginas drop too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I woke up two weeks ago and I said, Why am I wearing a bunny slipper? Oh. And I was just... <laughs> so it's, it's nature. But do, but do... It's nature. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> but it's nature. That's cancelled out all the good work Helen did earlier, you know that. <laughs> well, you know, Helen brought the, the show up and I... <laughs> no. Hey, and I brought but... it right back where it belongs. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> where well, we're happy, don't we? Just flush and we're finished. Now, I've been watching Nip Tuck. Which Nip is... Tuck. Now, this is a fabulous idea for them to put you in, and I would have thought... It, and it shows you in a very good light that you agreed to do this, because, of course, you played yourself, sort of, didn't yes. you? Yes. I played myself, and uh, I'm going back this year. I'm going to be like a semi-regular on the show. Wonderful. I came in, I asked them, like I would do this, uh, put me... I want to be my grandson, the woman I really should be. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. But you put me, put me back the way I would have been without plastic surgery. But there's a picture of you. This is presumably... Is that when you'd already had work done? Oh, or? of course. OK. 
Well, because I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what well, that was. Before. But I haven't done that much. I had a facelift already. That because I was in my late forties then. So really, so. But just also the entourage. It's the hair and it's the makeup. You know, and they they glamorize yeah, you. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the good thing. You know what's great about you is, uh, I think, and yeah, this is a, nothing. No. <laughs> the great thing is that you're, you're really honest about it, you're really upfront about it, and you're really comfortable talking about it. But when you see someone like Michael Jackson, who, uh, despite oh, well, the fact he claims to have had one nose job, continual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's a terrifying that's prospect. A, that's a, a, a frightening thing, and that's when you really, or the woman that looks like the cat. Joyce Wildebeest, I believe her name is, or something, or yeah, Wildebeest, well. something like that. But she's she's uh, she's quite scary. But in a way, some way, she's kind of it's kind of sexy because she does look like a cat, a monster. And men. Some men want to f a cat. You know that. Yes, I have said this. Yes. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You know, it's all there. <laughs> My husband used to say to me, "Are you faking it? Are you faking it?" I would go, "No, I am reading the magazine." <laughs> it is. Just, I never got uh, the hang of sex. Okay, join. Let's have a look now. Joan, uh, she mentioned the Channel Five show she has on the moment, Channel which uh, and it's coming Joan, back again. You're doing another. Joan show? Rivers' position. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have a clip. Now, this is quite some clip because, you know, I think we've all realised Joan is someone who speaks her mind, of course, and she does it in a very humorous and a, and a very, uh, you know, entertaining way. Uh, but you have a guest on here. You have, uh, is it Brigitte? Is it Brigitte or Brigitte? I'm never sure. I don't know and I don't care. Okay. <laughs> and there's obviously bad blood between you. She, she... There was, you know, you have guests. You want them to be good. You want them to be wonderful. She came on and I met her once and she said, I'm angry with you from 20 years ago. I don't even remember who you were 20 years ago. You're this big thing that Sylvester Stallone was walking next to. And she just was upset and angry through the whole show. And you know, at one point, I'm in the business 40 years, at one point you want to turn to somebody and say, why are you here? Yeah, well, that's why what, are you here? I've seen, we're going to show you a clip of it. And you do think, why did she come on the show? If she, why did she not just send you a letter or, or, or wait for you in on. an alleyway with a stick? Let's have a look. This is the Joan Rivers position. Uh, has this one aired in this country yet? It hasn't know? aired yet. I don't think. Okay, so this is one to look out for. It's Joan Rivers with Brigitte or Brigitte Nelson. I'm not sure you pronounce it. Look at this. You gave me a hard time 20 years ago. And you're oh, still I'm around. I'm sorry. I wanted to bring flowers. What happened And you're still years sitting ago? here. I, what you happened were, 20 years ago that you I gave you... were talking about Sylvester and myself. You were, you were oh, sleeping I, I, with Sylvester I, 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 Stallone. I, 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 okay. Look at your body language. You couldn't get any further away from me, so I'll go this way. Let's be... <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is 30 years. You know I what? never had a I'm guest happy, like you. I'm you're happy. I am. This is great television. I Thank God we were I worried am. would you be a c And you are. <laughs> there you go. You know, the number of times I've heard Parky say that to his guests. I think <laughs> hey, Joan, congratulations on, well, on, on still being here. On I'm still, still being, being here. Uh, but you're so sharp and, and you know, still up. working. Well, congratulations, <laughs> but it's great. And I've been a fan of yours for, uh, for years, so I'm so thrilled you finally came on the I'm show. I'm thrilled to Thank be here. Thank you for coming I'm on. Thrilled, uh, thrilled, Joan's yeah. tour kicks off late October, and you can see her around the UK through to sort of the end of November, I think. Yes, so, yes. Uh, catching you live. I'm going to try and get you to see you live. I've never I'll seen you live. I'll be at the Palladium. Live. Well, I will come yeah, and see yeah. you at the Palladium. I definitely will. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you join me in saying thank you to the wonderful Joan Rivers? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you all right? Oh, fabulous. And when we thank edit, you. we've got a fantastic, yes. fantastic yes. answer. Thank, thank you so much. My darling. <laughs> 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 thank you to the.